Bismillah, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin Allahumma salli wa salli ma'ala sidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi fi kuri lahazatin abada ala ni'amali wa bzalihi Allahumma atina miladunka rahmah wa alimna miladunka ilma subhanaka la ilma lana illa ma'alamtana innaka antal alimul hakim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Awan dan taan lima wata ani wata zakura wata zikiran of awan yang tifa wali fada wali sifada wal hasa ala tama suki bikita bilahi wasuna ti rasuli hi sura lahu ala hi wa ali wasa habi wasa dam wadu a ina lifuda wada la la hana khair ibti oga a wajila wa mardoti hi wa kurbi hi wata wabi hi subahana hua ta ana ma alut fin wa a fiatin bi rahmati kaya a raham ro himin. اللهم إن نسرك العلم لدني مشرب سوف الهني يا وهاب يا غني اللهم إن نسرك العلم لدني مشرب سوف الهني يا وهاب يا غني اللهم نسرك العلم لدني مشرب سوف الهني يا وهاب يا غني اللهم سلي وسلم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم ألهمنا علم نفقه به أوامرك ونواهيك ورزقنا فهما نعرف به كيف الناجيك يا رحم الراحم اللهم إنا نسلك فهم النبيين وحزن المرسلين وإلهم الملائكة المقربين في عافية يا رحم الراحم اللهم أغنا بالعلم وزينا بالحلم وأكرم بتقى وجملنا بالعافية يا رحم الراحم أمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم إنا نستودعك ما قرأناه وما نقرأه في هذا المجلس وما قبله وما بعده فاحفظه علينا حتى ترده إلينا وقت احتياجنا إليه يا رحم الراحم اللهم إنا نسلك فهم النبيين وحفظ المرسلين وإلهم الملائكة المقربين في عافيته يا رحم الراحم اللهم أكرنا من نور الفهم وأخرج من ظلمة الوهم وافتح لنا أبواب رحمتك وانشر علينا حكمتك يا أرحم الراحمين آمين صلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم يا من مقال الأمور كلها بيده وإليه أرجو الأمر كله يا فتاح يا عليم يا فتاح يا عليم يا فتاح يا عليم افتح علينا فتحا قريبا وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقد لم لساني يفقه قولي وصل لساني وهدي قلبي فعل كذلك بأحبابي أبدا ورزقنا كمال فتوح العارفين والفقه في الدين مع كمال الإخلاص والسرق واليقين والعافية والغنى والنصر والحفظ ونافع والانتفاع وخيرات الدارين وعلم الأولين والآخرين آمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم والحمد لله رب العالمين آمين الفاتحة أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم لك يا من الدنيا كنا عبد وإياه كنا استعين إهل الشرط المستقيم شرط الذين نمد عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا مبالين آمين Okay, uh, who would like to read for us the the poem very quickly? Anyone would like to do it? I, I try, sorry. Thank you, Bismillah. قريد قدير قدير وجائز عائشة دانت
<laughs> Again, now, now, him. Majaizun fi haqihim min aradin Again, again Majaizun fi haqihim min aradin Bighayri naqsin ka khafi fi al-maradi Again <laughs> Again, again, no, the ayat, the ayat, the ayat Do the ayat Ni <laughs> mutashabihat Ada 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 dua wajaizun mutashabihat <laughs> Okay. Okay. B. 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 Um, one is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala The, the, the sifat ja'iz eh? wa ja'iz, The one for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is here Where is it? Uh, and here, the one for Allah is here Wa ja'izun bi fadlihi wa adlihi right, So what is permissible what, what is possible By his grace and by his by his justice right? So by Allah's grace and Allah's justice Allah causes for things to happen And does not cause for things to happen so be fondly here by his by his grace by by his by his um mercy and also by his justice so we understand right so what is possible for Allah tarkun li kulli mumkinin ka fi'alihi him doing anything al tarku li kulli mumkin leaving every possibility al tarku li kulli mumkin leaving every possibility ka fi'alihi is the same as him doing it is the same to Allah him doing something and not doing something are, is the same is the same Allah making everybody, everything gold, Allah making everything uh, dust is the same to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is a possibility. Allah creating the creation, Allah not creating the creation is the same to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not wajib, no mustahil, it is jaiz. Uh, that's the best part of Allah. Here, wa jaiz fi haqqihim. And what is possible in the rights of the Prophet, haqqihim, uh, in their haq, uh, in their rights, right, min aradin. Uh, of what happens to human beings, of uh, incidents. Uh, so, arad will be incidences that happen on human beings. Uh, but this this human human occurrences, arad is occurrences. Eh? Human occurrences, bilghayri naqsin. Right, the occurrences are without bilghayri uh, naqsin. Are without naqs is to 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 be less. Uh, it will not reduce their standing. Bilghayri naqsin. Uh, naqs means to, to be to be lesser right, or to be to to to, to uh, like depreciate in their standing right so what is permissible for prophets in their rights as prophets right, as prophets in their right is that they have arat right, arat is human human incidents uh, human incidents the ghairi naqs but the human incidents on them is not uh, does not have any um, does not bring down their their their, their standing and their worth uh, amongst other human beings, right? So, like for example, ka, uh, ka such as light illness. Uh, they can have khafif uh, al-maradi. They can have light illnesses. Uh, so, whatever happens to them, that is, that is human, like it will not uh, depreciate their value as prophets. Uh, so, like for example, they can they can fall sick, but like light sickness, not not repulsive sickness. They can eat, but you will not find prophets to be gluttons. Uh, uh, so they, they have human human tendencies. Uh, they get they marry, but they're not lustful. Uh, there's no lust in prophets, uh, but they marry. Uh, so so this is the part, lah. Eh? <laughs> okay, <dah>. continue. <laughs> okay, up. Okay. Okay. I use I use to memorize understanding every single word. That's how your Arabic improves. <laughs> everything you memorize in Hadith, in Quran, in Aqidatul Awam, everything you memorize is the Islamic words. You memorize your Arabic improves. You will is a door to understanding the Habaib and the Mashaikh because they will not use any other um, vocabulary except what you find in Fiqh and Hadith and Quran and and Aqida and Tasawuf. They have the same vocabulary. Right, so if you memorize the vocabulary that is here, you build up. This is why, like, like when I was in Tarim, some of some of the like the beginners, um, in in Darul Zahra, they were saying they were listening to Habib's um Darul Fajr every morning to try and understand. 
And I said to them, you've not even done Zakhira Musharrafa. Now, if you've not done Zakhira Musharrafa, how are you going to understand Dars, f- dars Fajr? Because Dars Fajr is after you've taken the vocabulary of the Zakhira Musharrafa and Risatul Jami'ah and uh, Safin Dunaja and uh, after that is Muqtasar um, Latif. Uh, and <laughs> after that is uh, Salamu Tawfiq right? and after that is uh, Muqaddimah right? so after having taken all these books then I will say you have the vocabulary that you have, um, you have amassed enough vocabulary to understand Dars Fajr <laughs> MashaAllah but it's, it's a step it's a step okay so if you're memorizing you know and you're learning Arabic learn the words one by one that's what I used to do when I was in Darin I even have like on my on my notes like I will put like like the things like you know Hayatun al-ilmu kalamun istamar And here I can see my book, I put uh, istamar, continuous, I put, uh, above that And then here, jaizun fi haqihim min aradin And I unline the word aradin, natural for humans mm-hmm. So I have all my English, uh, my first in Daru Zahra, I used to do that So it's all in my book, I can see it So here, ismatuhum, I unline the word ismatuhum Isma, why is isma? Infallible Why is infallible? <laughs> okay, okay, continue Bismillah. <laughs> <laughs> And benefit from it. Igtamal and naqtanimul waqt. Benefit from it. Tama. Hum. Ahsanti wa sallallahu alayki Allah yafta alayki MashaAllah Alhamdulillah Okay, continuing with our lesson Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah So I hope you are memorizing it in that way uh, So don't, like, don't lose these opportunities of gaining Arabic When you're memorizing Quran Memorizing um, Hadith Memorizing uh, Matan This is called Matan uh, You're memorizing uh, a poetry uh, you and you're and you're learning Arabic, right? Then even if you're not learning Arabic, learn Arabic, right? Uh, then, um, like you know, like say say da gaya. What is a gaya? Da gaya, right? So uh, watoha khat khati mun da gaya. Go and figure out what is that. What is a gaya? Tamam. Okay. So mashallah. Uh, continuing with Nabi. Uh, like yesterday we were, we we ended off with Nabi Sulaiman, right? And uh, Nabi Dawood. I'm I'm just gonna go back to my notes. Uh, here. I'm just gonna read out everything that I might have missed out <laughs> um, in 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 delivering the class, right? So it was said that um, okay, about Nabi Harun and Nabi Musa. Right? So Nabi Harun, he was old, the, the older brother of Nabi Musa, alayhi salam, and Nabi Harun was more eloquent than Nabi Musa uh, because Nabi Musa. Okay, if, okay, here again uh, for us to understand. Eh? So when he said wajizun. Um, uh, في حقه من عرض من غير أو بغير نقص كخافي في المرض. Right, so there's no نقص, there's no deficiency in prophets. But in Nabi Musa عليه السلام, he did have a um, had a defect in his tongue. Right, but he was not created as such. He was created perfect. But Nabi Musa, what happened was that when Fir'aun, when 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 in Asia, the 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 the, the wife of Fir'aun found Nabi Musa عليه السلام in the river. Right, uh, and she br- brought him in, and they knew immediately he was not Egyptian. They knew obviously he was Israeli. Right, he was from Bani Israel. Right, um, it was because is is the 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 race is very obvious. You can tell from the race, right, from the face, from the face you can tell if someone was Egyptian, if someone was uh from the Bani Israel, from the, their race is is a physical characteristic right, of their faces. Right, so they could tell immediately that Nabi Musa alayhi salam was uh an Israelite. Right, so um, Fir'aun actually initially ordered to kill the baby, right? Because he, of course, no, he's, ter- he's terrified that he's of for his kingdom. He got a dream that somebody from the the Bani Israel is going to bring him down, destroy him, right? And that's why he 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 called for the killing of all baby boys, right, in the kingdom. And here, Habib, mashallah, Habib Omar, he mentioned about how you know people can plan all they want to plan, 
but Allah's plan will prevail. As how we see uh, with Nabi Musa alayhi salam, Fir'aun tried as, far, as much as he could to, dis- to, to get rid of the, to, to stop you know, destiny from happening. To stop destiny. You can't stop destiny. Right? So in, in fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala caused for Nabi Musa to grow up in the, uh, in, in the, in the palace of Fir'aun. And so Nabi Musa knows everything about Fir'aun and his palace. And you know, it, because he, he grew up there. Right. Um, same thing with Nabi Yusuf. And Nabi Yusuf, his brother, said to get it, to get rid of him and threw him into the well. But Allah's plan will prevail, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala caused for Nabi Yusuf, right, to be a minister all the way in Egypt. Which eventually the brothers will come to Egypt, and he, they will meet their brother Nabi Yusuf, and he said, um, and then they will, uh, you know, they, they will feel. Um, and, and if it, the story goes that they, they, they find out it's Nabi Yusuf and then they repent eventually after all those years, then they eventually repent it. Right? And and mashallah. Um. Uh. It was also that. Uh. uh and 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 Habib when he was t- teaching the, the the tafsir of Surah Yusuf, right? He was saying, you know, how many times people think people you know, all these you know uh, criminals they think or human beings they think that things are in their hands. They think that they are in control. They are in no way in control. Right? Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is the one that is in control. Right. So like he was saying about the communist regime. Like when uh, they had come into the ha- the home of his, his his mother's home because the communists had had you know abducted uh, his father right, and they killed his father right and then so they came into the, his mother's home to, to search right uh for for you know um uh for for, for people right so for them to to, to take lives and Habib Ali Mashur was there you know and he was in his twenties you know and he was you know guarding over his mother right? his mother was this uh, Habib Zahra right? and then and the woman were all in one room. You know, so the communists had come had, had barged into the house. Habib Umar said they had barged into the house, and they were, were they were searching the men, you know, for whatever they were searching for. Right? And then one of them said, you know, to the other, let's go to the rooms and search the rooms, right? And in in the heart of Habib Mashur, right, he was thinking, no, 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 my mother's there, the woman are there, you know, Aib, you know, is 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 aura, you know, like, like, like and they're very very strict about aura. Right? It's aura, it's aura, you know. Th- that don't don't disgrace our mother and our sisters, right? So he was saying that in his heart, and made dua to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala in his heart, right? That that and then and then and then and then the communists when they were in the the hall, one of them said to the other person, let's go to the rooms and go and check there, you know, and see you know whether it's there. And then the other one says, uh, I don't think there's anything in the rooms. They all they all you know, I don't think there's anything there. And they left, right? So just just that that split moment, you th- they you think these people are making decisions? No, it's Allah, <laughs> right? It's Allah who is causing them to go away. Right, go away. You know, so they think that they are, they are, you know, deciding not to search, but Allah's blocking them from searching. They're not allowed to search, right? Because uh, Habib, Habib Ali Mashur was making dua, right, to protect the aurat of his mother and his sisters, right, who were in the rooms, um, uh, hiding away from the, uh, from from these men, right, who had barged into their homes. Right, so mashallah, you know, the same thing with uh, Nabi Nabi Musa here. Pharaoh saw Nabi Musa, and Pharaoh was going to kill Nabi Musa, alayhi salam. Right, because obviously he's an Israelite, and he's you know, um, and and of course for prophets, they are obviously different. Right, they they have light in their faces. Right, they are the most beautiful of 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 human beings and so on. Right, so y- I mean, they they stand out from amongst other human beings. Right, so Pharaoh wanted to kill Nabi Musa. So what Pharaoh and then uh, Sidna Asia, alhamdulillah, right, she stepped in and she said, oh, you know, oh Pharaoh. Right, I are you s- afraid of a baby boy? You know that, and, and I'm sure this b- you are much smarter than a baby boy. Then uh, Firaun said, "How do you know?" And she said, "Let's do a test for him." So they placed in front of Nabi Musa as a baby. This one, Nabi Musa, a plate of dates and a plate of um of of hot uh, charcoal, a hot charcoal, sorry, a hot charcoal. Right. So th- so she said, if he's if he is a smart baby boy, he will go for the dates. Right? If he's not so smart, he'll go for the uh, charcoal. And if he's not smart, you have no f- you have to you don't have to fear him. Right, so Allah caused, and so Nabi Musa is smarter than that. Right, he's smarter than, than even going for the dates. He's, you know, uh, Allah caused Nabi Musa uh, to go for the hot charcoal. Right, so Nabi Musa went for the hot charcoal and he placed it on his tongue and it burnt his tongue. And ever since then, Nabi Musa had a lisp right, in his tongue. Right, he couldn't he couldn't pronounce certain things well. Um, and so therefore he called, he asked Allah to send him uh, Nabi Harun as a wazir. Right, and from here we have the the Sunnah of the Aulia as well as how Nabi Musa asked for his brother to be a Nabi like him. Right, there are of the Aulia who ask of their own family members to be Aulia like them, as the Aulia are the inheritors of the prophets. Right, so so Nabi Musa, and there was why we had the du'a of Nabi Musa, like Rabbi Shrahli Sadri, Wayasirli Amri, Wahalul Uqdatam Milisani. I remove this knot in my tongue. Right, because and Nabi Musa made that du'a because. 
of his lisp, right? He had a lisp, lisp in his tongue. It was not a defect in the sense that it prevented him from from uh, doing da'wah. He could still could do da'wah to the Bani Israel, right? But he was afraid that uh, you know they, they, they would not understand him uh, clearly. So he sent Nabi, Nabi Harun as as to 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 help Nabi Musa in this. Okay, that was uh, that was the part. Okay, Zukifli is from the okay, uh, Zukifli is from the people of Nabi Musa. It was said his name was special. We mentioned just now uh, uh, yesterday, right? And it was changed to Zukifli because he took over the da'wah from his father, uh, from Nabi Ayyub alayhi salam. Uh, he prays in the night and he fasts in the day, in the day every single day for for Sayyidina Zulkifli. For Nabi Dawood alayhi salam, Allah subhanahu wa taala made the mountains and the birds send blessings right to him, and he would sing the 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 zabur, the psalms of the of David, the psalms of Nabi Dawood alayhi salam, right with the mountains and the birds. Right, like he could mold iron with his hands. Right, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala allowed Nabi Dawood. Right, um, it was the 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 ilmu, eh, the knowledge of of handling metal was given Nabi Dawood alayhi salam. Like molding candles, he could mold iron. Like, like someone who could mold, you know, wax. And Allah makes it clear to him. Right, uh, 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 false false from truth in argument. Nabi Dawood was the uh, Nabi da- Nabi Dawood was the first one to say Amma ba'adu. Uh, amma ba'du, uh, we meaning that uh, and we will begin, and that is called uh, like to separate the speech from the Alhamdulillah and the, the Bismillah Alhamdulillah and Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Right, and then they go Amma ba'du, and they begin their speech. Right, Nabi Dawood was the first one to be given that, and Allah says in the Quran, He was given eloquency, right, and um and and to to separate his speech clearly, and that is from the perfection of prophets, right, uh, in in that they are able to do that. Nabi Sulaiman bin Nabi bin, bin Nabi Dawood, he was an intelligent child. Right, he understood the language of birds, right, as well as uh animals and the voices of animals. And we know in the story, uh, in 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 in, in uh, the Quran, right, when he was walking and he saw the the bulbul, you know, of a nice voice, right, and then he was uh. So basically, in, in the Quran, we see Nabi Nabi Sulaiman speaking to animals, right. So it uh, and there's a story like about the bulbul that he saw once he saw a bulbul and a bird of a nice voice, and the bird had it had eaten half a uh, a date half a tamer. Uh, but the bulbul was happy, right? And then there was a hamama, right? The hamama, uh, uh, a pigeon, I right, was sad, right? Because it is, um, uh, uh, the, the the hamama uh, was was ungrateful, right? With the half a tamer, a uh, half date that was that was that he had gotten. No stories lah, eh, about Nabi Nabi, Nabi Sulaiman, mashaAllah. And because the bulbul was was grateful and happy, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala gave the bulbul a nice voice so he could sing very well. <laughs> and the hamama had no nice voice, because the hamama. But hamama uh, till today uh, uh, will will flock towards areas right whereby there are many angels. The hamama are the are the upper uh, pigeons. Right, they are the pigeons. Right, so Allah alam. Right, so Allah placed Nabi Sulaiman. Also gave Nabi Sulaiman a kingdom like no one ever before Nabi Sulaiman, nor after Nabi Sulaiman would ever have. Right, he had the kingdom over people, over the animals, over the jinn. He was in charge of the jinn. Right, uh, uh, so he had a, he had the greatest kingdom. You know, Subhanallah. Right, and then uh, Elias. You know, we spoke about uh, there's Nabi Elias here. Right, Nabi Elias uh, was sent to the Bani Israel as well. Then Nabi Yunus. Okay, Nabi Yunus. He is the f- only one, as Allah has in the Quran, that he's the only one whereby his people came into Islam entirely. And Nabi Yunus alayhi salam. Of course, Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. But there were many, there were many people also who were who were uh, fighting against Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Uh, but other prophets, like their people, did not come into Islam. Very few, very few of them came into Islam. Majority of them refused, and so they were destroyed. Nabi Yunus bin Matta, Yunus bin Matta, uh, he was sent to his people in Nineveh. way. And he was the one that Allah saved from distress that he was in in the in the in the hut right, in the in the in the whale, and he was called the noon right the noon because he was in the uh, he was in the whale. As right, so the story of Nabi Yunus alayhi salam, it right, was that uh, he called his people night and day to Allah subhanahu wa taala, but they refused. And then Allah actually and he was actually told you know by Jibril that is that the, the punishment will come the following day. Right, so Nabi Yunus actually left the town before he was told to leave, but he assumed. That since the punishment was coming, it's time to leave. And so he left before being told to leave. But he was told the punishment was coming. And true enough, after he left, the punishment came. And when the people saw the punishment come as a, as a form of huge cloud, they all tawbat <laughs> to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They all repented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then they searched for Nabi Noor. They searched for Nabi Yunus. They searched for Nabi Yunus and they couldn't find Nabi Yunus. Nabi Yunus had left already, had gone on, on a ship. And Allah caused for a storm to, to afflict the ship. And the people on the ship said, uh, you know, that, that this storm will not go away until we sacrifice one of us. Right? And, then, and then they kept drawing lots, they kept following Nabi Yunus. And they, they knew Nabi Yunus to be a righteous man. And they didn't want to throw him in actually at first. 
Uh, but because he kept following Nabi Yunus, he said that, that he is the one that that is uh, that we have to throw off uh, over uh, overboard. Right, so they threw him overboard, and then he was swallowed by a whale. Right, and then in the whale, he said, "Is his his um, uh, uh." In in the whale, he uh, recited right of uh, the the he the, the, the dua la ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu min al zalimin. We should do forty times in the morning. You know, in the morning, our azkar right, and actually um, the azkar in the, the khulasa that you have you have online, it does not have the ayat that comes before the azkar right. There's the khulasa that is online, right? but the khulasa that uh, I have here. Uh, and in fact, they they began doing it also. They will read the they will, they will read the the ayat right. So the ayat goes. Was a noon, right? And uh, and Nabi Yunus alayhi salam when he left his people, uh, you know, was frustrated with them. Um, that's my hulasa. Let's <laughs> into my hulasa. Okay there. All right. So now, don't want to misquote the ayat, but it's in the it's in the latest hulasa. The hulasa changes every sem every every season. Eh? <laughs> if you um now you know <laughs> that if you bought a hulasa years ago, if you buy a the latest hulasa now, there's probably a lot of other things in there. It changes every 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 season, and th there's always a new print. So you can like buy several different hulasas, <laughs> and all different. Right? So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, right in um, and so you can do it in the morning actually. And if you hear the Mustafa in the morning, if you're on the the radio, you will hear them recite. The, you will hear them recite uh, the verse. Eh? Well, the noon is the the mughadiban, and the Allah yaqdir alaihi wa na lafid bizzumat. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu minal zalimin right, and, then, and then you go la ya hayyu ya qayyum la ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu minal zalimin and you do it 40 times right, and the one and they said that the one who does it 40 times their du'as are accepted right, so now Darul Musafat does the ayat first then I can't find my school last it's not here okay then Darul Musafat um, uh, uh, the Musafa will do the ayat first, and then they will do the azkar. Uh, that is the latest hulasa that has that um, that has the ayat inside. Okay. Anyway, alhamdulillah. Uh, continuing from Nabi Yunus, uh, and so eventually, uh, uh, in doing that, and because he did that in the in the belly of the whale, uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala uh, caused for the whale to throw him out onto the onto the the, the shore, and he went back to his people, um, and he found that they were searching for him. They had repented. They were searching for him, and he guided them. And he and from his people there was a man that later on came to who was was found you know on the outskirts of Taif. Right, his name was Adas. Right, so Adas right, was the man by who met Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi was was thrown out of Taif. Right, and he was resting you know under a tree near near Bustan you know near near a garden. Right, and there was a man named Adas right, who came to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam to offer some grapes. And he was actually a slave boy um, that that belonged to some of the Quraysh who who lived there. Right and uh, uh and and the slave boy he was a, he was basically they say he was a Christian right? in a sense he was from Nabi Yunus's um, people and he had been Nabi Yunus so when he brought the the grapes the grapes to Rasulullah Sallam to offer him Rasulullah Sallam said Bismillah and he took you know the 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 the, the grapes and he ate it and then the the boy said where are you from and what and where where do you learn where do you learn to say Bismillah right and then and Rasulullah responded to him and said where are you from what's your name and where are you from. And the boy said, I am Adas, and I am from Ninawe. And uh, Rasulullah Sallallahu said, Ninawe, that is the place of my brother Yunus bin Matta. And then, and so the boy, the boy was 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 surprised because people in 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 Mecca and Medina and Taif and people in in the Arabian Peninsula, they don't know uh, Ninawe, and they don't know Nabi Yunus, and they don't know Nabi Yunus's father. <laughs> right? How would they know? You know of all these things. And so he was surprised, and he says, You know Yunus bin Matta. And then, uh, and then, and then Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi said, "Yes, I, I, he is, my, he is my brother. He is a prophet. How I am a prophet." And the boy kissed the hands and the feet of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. His master saw him from afar, and when the, when he came back to his master, they all scolded him. They why, why are you, you know, honoring, you know, Muhammad? Uh, what you're on is better, right? But the boy knew that Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a prophet, like how Nabi Yunus was a prophet. You know, mashaAllah. Right. Um. Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammad. Right. It was said that. Uh. Let me see. Nabi Zakaria. So Nabi Zakaria's story. Right. Nabi. It was said that Nabi Zakaria. He lived in old. Uh. He lived for a long time. You know, until until old age. Right. And then he married. Uh. Sayyidina Zakaria. He actually married. Um. Sayyidina Maryam's aunt. So Sayyidina Maryam. She has two. She has, she has her mother and the mother sister. And her mother is Hanna. Right. And then I forgot the name of the sister. Of Nabi Zakaria's uh, wife, right? So basically, the two of them, right? They were barren for a long time, right? Uh, Hanna, right, who is the mother of Sayyidina Maryam, and uh, the sister, which is the wife of of uh, Nabi Zakaria, they were they were barren for a very long time. Eventually, um, 
eventually uh, uh, Hannah got pregnant first and, sh- and so she's the one who made, uh, made the made the vow you know that the child in her womb will be dedicated uh, to the uh, to the to the Maqdis, uh, where she gave birth to a to a girl uh, and the girl is not like a boy and in fact this girl is better than any boy you know much they could have come to her and from the girl f- from the strong intention of Hannah right came uh, Nabi Isa thereafter right so it so it um uh, Hannah has a sister who is the wife of Nabi Zakaria. So Nabi Zakaria is an uncle, right, to Sadana Maryam, but uncle by marriage, eh? uncle by marriage, right. So uh, her her is her khala. Her khala is the wife of uh, Nabi Zakaria. So this is when Nabi Zakaria was given the 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 trust to look after Sadana Maryam when she was in her mihrab because it was said that both her parents passed away. So she was orphaned. Right? Sadana Maryam was orphaned. Right. So then 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 the story goes on that she got pregnant with Nabi Isa and so on. Right, so Nabi Isa and Nabi Yahya. Right, Nabi Yahya is the um, Nabi Yahya is the child of Nabi Zakaria. So Nabi Yahya and Nabi Isa they are uh, re- they are related. Right, so they are related through um, uh, Nabi Nabi Yahya's uh, mother is the sister of Nabi Isa's grandmother. Okay, so they are the like uncle uncle nephew uh, status. <laughs> okay, mashallah. All right. So Nabi Zakaria, he is of the descendants of Nabi Sulaiman alaihi salam, right, and of the great scholar of the Bani Israel, and he is of the, uh, he is, he was the one uh, who uh, who offered in offering at the bait, in, in at Baitul Maqdis, and he used to recite a Torah to the people, and he passed to as a martyr. Right, he was killed in the battle, and Nabi Zakaria was killed in a battle, right? Um, and they were, and Nabi Zakaria and his and his uh, wife, right. The Mizakar and his wife, they were placed in charge of Sadah Maryam right, because the Khala and Nabi Manzilatil Um. Right, the Khala is in the same station as the mother. Right, so, even for us, some time um, when Sayyidina Hamza was killed in a battle right, and he left behind a daughter right, to be looked after, a young girl to be looked after, right, and, the, and the, some of the Sahaba they were arguing as to who has custody over the daughter of Sayyidina Hamza. Right, and, and so it, uh, the custody. I actually went to Sayyidina Ja'far. No. Sayyidina Ja'far because the uh, his wife is the sister of Sayyidina Hamza's wife. Right? So the Khala. Right? So the Khala has more rights. Right? Uh, to because the Khala be manzilatil um. Right? The sister the mother's sister is like the mother. Right? So uh so Nabi Zakaria Yahya bin Zakaria, he was born three years before Nabi Isa alayhi salam. Right. Allah Masai Sina Muhammad. Okay. Um, okay, so Nabi Nabi Isa bin Maryam. So he is a prophet of Allah subhanahu wa taala. He is called Al Masih. Right, the word Al Masih. Right. Wait, let me go back to Nabi Zakaria first. Eh, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Okay, uh, Nabi Zakaria. Uh, you know, when they, and Allah says in the Quran, right, they 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 drew lots, right, to um, they they drew lots to 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 see who was in charge of Sayyidina Maryam. Everyone in that time among the rabbis, they all wanted to be in charge of the Maryam because the Maryam was the daughter of, of, of Imran. And Imran was their leader. And Maryam bin Imran. And yesterday you mentioned again, so the Maryam, her, her father was Imran. As with Nabi Musa, his father was Imran as well. There were two Maryam bin Imran. <laughs> right? There were two Maryam bin Imran. Two of them. So one was Nabi Musa's uh, sister and one was uh, Nabi, Nabi Isa's uh, mother. They're different zaman, eh? Different zaman altogether. <laughs> okay, don't confuse them. I right, said so Maryam bin Imran, uh, Nabi Isa's mother, Maryam bin Imran, Nabi Musa's sister. Right, different Maryams. Uh, mashallah, all history. Mashallah, and it's interesting to go through the history of the of the Ambiya and Aulia. You know, Mashallah. Okay, um, so the uh, and it's okay, Mashallah, and and also the Nabi Zakat. So they drew lots. They said they threw, they threw the aqlam. So aqlam here it came in pens, but actually here it means the the arrows. They threw it, they let the sticks threw it into the water. And the one whose uh, stick would uh, manifest is the one who takes looks after Maryam. And it happened that it fell on Sayyidina Nabi Zakaria alayhi salam. Okay, Yahya. Right, Yahya, it means life. Right, Yahya. Yahya wa yamut. Yahya. Right, Yuhi wa yumit. Tamam? Yahya means life. Nabi Zakaria, uh, he was killed. Okay, uh, and why was he killed? Because in his time, Allah Masjidah Muhammad, in his time there was a king. Right, and this king wanted to marry his own niece, Mahram. 
and mahram to the king. He wanted to marry his own niece. And Nabi Yahya, of course, said no because he was a prophet at that time. And Nabi Yahya, you know, uh, spoke against it. Nabi Zakaria, we go a bit back. I'm going backwards. Because <laughs> the story of Nabi Zakaria, Nabi Yahya, is is quite um, detailed in the Quran, in Surah Maryam, also in Surah Ali Imran. Right? Allah is in detail. Allah speaks about Nabi Zakaria, and Nabi Yahya. Nabi Zakaria, you know, as he grew into old age and he found that he has no children. He and and that and that the Bani Israel they need prophets. If not, they were all they they go into nonsense. So they do all kinds of of really they go into into they go they be astray. They need a prophet to keep them in check. So Nabi Zakaria, at his old age, they they will say that he was past a uh, hundred years old, right? Uh, at his old age, he raises against Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and he he asks Allah for a child. Uh, he asked for a child, and in his in his du'a to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, he made his intentions clear. To Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, that He wants this child to be someone to inherit Him and to inherit Yaqub, meaning this child to take on this responsibility of leadership and guidance for the Bani Israel, right? because He was afraid that the people will go astray after Him after He passes away. I right? said so Allah grants Him Nabi Yahya, so Nabi Yahya is to you know guide the people, which is why also Sister Maryam, like she also made the same du'a. That whoever she was carrying in her womb, because there was no apparent prophet that was appearing, because Nabi Zakaria was growing old, right? So they were all, you know, Sina Sina Imran as well. And what is Sina Imran was Nabi Imran, Allahu Alam, whether he was a Nabi uh, or not. It's possible for him to be a Nabi and not a Rasul. It's possible for him to be a Nabi, right? Because um, if you go to to Oman, right, you will find a grave, uh, Nabi Imran's grave. Uh, in Oman, those of you followed me uh, to Oman uh, some time ago, right? Uh, there is Nabi Imran's grief, long grief. And actually, I have it on my. Uh, someone showed me the, a video of of them the doing going to the grief that day. Let me show you all very quickly. Then we'll go back to our class, inshallah. Right? Uh, the grief of Nabi Imran, very long. Uh, in Oman, they call Nabi Imran. So they call him Nabi Imran. So it's possible. Uh, let me see if you all see here. And the prophets were tall. Uh, they were tall. Uh, someone sent me, me this um, this three D image of. Let me get it down. So why is it moving? <laughs> this was our trip to Tarim. <laughs> yeah, it's probably me. Uh, yeah. So, so this someone did this. This this. I don't. I can't remember what I'm saying to them. Right, but um, yeah, so you can see how long Nabi Amran. Eh? If you go backwards, it's a full three D. Uh, this is the entire length of Nabi Imran. <laughs> Can you see it? The entire length of Nabi Imran, mashallah. And someone sent me a 3D um video of our trip to Tarim. So inshallah, if I we have time, we can show you more of, of it. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Okay. Um. So so they were all worried. Right? They were all worried with the with the. It says there was no clear leader. After Nabi Zakaria and Nabi Imran, and, and Nabi Zakaria and Nabi Imran, because Nabi Imran, right, after them there was no clear leader, right? Um, so it, uh, they made du'a, right, and Allah Subhanahu wa gave Nabi Yahya. Nabi Yahya sp- stood in the way of this uh, niece and, and, and uncle who wanted to get married because it's, it's incest, right? You know, it's the mahram, right? So it, uh, Nabi Yahya stood in the way, and the niece, you know, in the niece in greed, right, to be the queen. Like she wanted to be the queen, she wanted money and, and prestige. Right? So she ordered for the killing of Nabi Yahya, right? the, the, the murder of Nabi Yahya. Which is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran said to the Bani Israel, right, that you all kill prophets. And they have killed prophets. Right? They, and, they, and they tried to kill uh, Nabi Isa as well. Right, they, they they attempted to kill Nabi Isa. They killed their prophets. Right, the Bani Israel. And Allah calls them out a lot in the Quran about you claim to love prophets, you claim to follow prophets, but you kill prophets who came with uh, you who came with Sharia that was against your own, uh, you know your 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 own hawa, you know your own nafs. So they actually uh, ran after Nabi Yahya. Nabi Yahya went into the bark. It was said Nabi Yahya went into the trunk of a tree, right, and they began to saw the tree in half. Right, they began to saw the tree in half. Right and and this is how mashallah prophets are so you know they they have very high level. It was said that when the, when the saw hit the the head of Nabi Yahya, right? Nabi Yahya said ah like that ah, and then um uh and Allah revealed to Nabi Yahya, oh Yahya, if you do this, if you say that, if you if you make that sound again, right? Nubuwa will be taken away from you. Right, prophet will, prophet will be taken away from you, but it's on prophets to 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 to, to, to bear with whatever difficulty they go through. And Nabi Yahya repented from saying ah, you know, he repented from from doing that. For me, I got some back pain like that, ah, ah all the time. <laughs> right, so I was saying ah, like so so painful. Mashallah. Um, 
so 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 uh, Nabi Yahya repented and they sought Nabi Yahya in half. Uh, they sought Nabi Yahya in half and he died. Uh, they killed Nabi Yahya. Uh, it is on the day of judgment. Nabi Yahya we brought forth. Right, Nabi Yahya we brought forth after all is in the hadith. After all the people of paradise who go to paradise, people of the hellfire go to the hellfire. Nabi Yahya will come forward and Nabi Yahya will have a kibish. Right, he will have a a, a, sh- a ram. He will have, have a ram with him. And this ram is life. This is hayat. This is life. So he will slaughter the ram, and they will say there is no. And he will kill. He will kill life in a sense. There is no mount abada, right? So we say people in paradise uh, enjoy in paradise. For there is no death after this forever. People in hell stay in hell, right? And there is no death after this forever. And it was Nabi Yahya who will do it because Nabi Yahya is his name. It means life, right? And uh, as well as he was the one who was one of the prophets who was killed. Tamam. Okay. Uh, Nabi Isa al Masih. Nabi Isa al Masih is the prophet of Allah subhanahu wa taala, and his slave and the word of Allah subhanahu wa taala sent to Maryam and a soul from Allah subhanahu wa taala. Right. Uh, also, uh, Allah sent down the soul of Nabi Isa to be blown to Sayyidina Maryam. Right. And the final prophet for Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. There was no prophet between Nabi Muhammad and Nabi Isa alaihi salam. And if you go to the lineage of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, some of the ancestors of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam they met Nabi Isa bin Maryam. If you go into the lineage and and you and you and you see you know of his ancestors, there were those who were dis- who were contemporaries of Nabi Isa. Bin Maryam, and when they met Nabi Isa, they believed Nabi Isa, right? That of the of the ancestors of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, right? The final of the, the final of the prophets of Bani Israel, there was no prophet up to him in Bani Israel. He's called Al Masih. He's called Al Masih from the Masaha, right, which means uh, to wipe. Right, to wipe, meaning that Nabi Isa he used to wipe over people, and they would be cured immediately. If they had leprosy, he would wipe over them, and they would be cured. If they were blind, he would wipe over them, and their blindness will, 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 they, will they will see. If they were dead. And he wept over them. Uh, they will come back to life. And there are many stories of the different people whom Nabi Isa brought back to life. One of them was Sam bin Nuh. <laughs> right? Nabi Isa actually brought back to life Sam bin Nuh. Um, Nabi Nuh's uh, sa- uh, son. So when he brought Nabi, uh, Sam bin Nuh back, back to life, right, they got the news from them, Sam bin Nuh of how it was in the, in the, in the, in the barzakh, right, in the grave. So, mashallah. So he's called Al-Masih in that way. Uh, the Dajjal is called Al-Masih. Right? Al-Masih. It's also uh, known to, to be called Al Masih Dajjal, right? So because Dajjal means imposter, right? So he is the like you say he is the false Messiah, right? In 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 English, the false Messiah, right? The one. So, uh, so the Dajjal goes around wiping things and and as if by his, um, you know, uh, by the, by the test, the trial that Allah gave to Dajjal, right? He will be able to um, cure people and give bring give us uh, eyesight back to the back to the back, back to the to the blind and bring the dead back to life. The jealous able he's Allah will give him the ability right, to do that. He's called Masih you know, for the Dajjal, right? Because uh, in a masakha in the Ainahu. Right? So it is his 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 um his eye has been has been um blinded. The jail eh? he has one eye that is like a grip and it's blind in that one eye. Right, so it, uh, but he will be the imposter. Right? He will pretend to be Nabi Isa because the Jews rejected Nabi Isa. Nabi Isa came, so they're waiting for the Messiah, right, the Savior. Right, but Nabi Isa came already actually. Right? So when 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 Dajjal comes, they will run after Dajjal, claiming or believing that Dajjal is the Messiah. Right, but uh, but Dajjal is the imposter, and he'll be such a such a convincing imposter. It will be said he's a convincing imposter. He will do all kinds of of um of of miracles and this kind of miracles is th- you don't see this this uh you don't see that karamat they're not karamat right they are miracles in the sense that they are they are fitna right you say fitna right not not karamat but fitna right um uh, to to trick people to thinking that he is Nabi Isa alayhi salam he is not Nabi Isa alayhi salam Dajjal will first claim to be a prophet then he will claim to be a a, a th- 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 will claim to be God himself as as those people in our time who believe Nabi Isa to be God. I to be Nabi Isa to have divine, to have divinity for Nabi, to Nabi Isa, alayhi salam. He come in the end of time. He will claim all of these things, right? And people who did not um, believe in the ja- believe in Nabi, believe in Nabi Isa or in Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, because in fact those who don't believe in Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, they will they will fall for the tricks of the jail and don't think an imposter will be obvious to the people. An imposter will do whatever it takes to convince people that he is Nabi Isa uh, bin Maryam until Nabi Isa manifests. 
right? Then Musa comes down, then people will know who is the Jal and who is Nabi Isa. But at that point, those people who have been following the Jal all the while, they cannot leave the Jal out of their love for the Jal. Right? They have they fallen in love, desperately in love with the Jal. So they're unable to follow Nabi Isa. And the ones who love the Jal are the ones who love whatever the Jal calls to, which is dunya. And the Jal is all about dunya. Nabi Isa is the opposite of the Jal. Nabi Nabi Isa is all about zuhud. Right? Nabi Isa and there are many stories about the, about the zuhud, the zuhud of Nabi Isa alayhi salam. I will stop here. I think that that, that overshoot. Right, so it um, mashallah. Right, inshallah, uh, tomorrow we continue on on that. Eh, we spend so much time on the on the prophet. Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Okay, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Nabi Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahabihi salam. There's some questions here. Um, there are some questions here. You say, La ilaha illa subhanaka inni kuntu minal zalimin. Right, that is when your du'as are accepted. And you say, Yahya Qayyum, because the Yahya Qayyum are of the, uh, the secret names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the powerful names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you do say, Yahya Qayyum. Right, so, um, tamam. Bani Israel. Uh, no, 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 no. Bani Israel and the Israel, and, and the Israel that is in Palestine, they're different. They are different, eh? Israel is a, is a state. Right, Bani Israel, this Israel is the name of Nabi Yaqub. Tamam? They're different. They're different. Okay. Um, right. So, uh, okay, the one the one that says that Nabi Zakaria is from uh, uh, Sayyidina Sulaiman, right? Uh, that one is uh, from Al uh, Habib, uh, Sayyid Muhammad Al Maliki. That was his statement. Eh? So, so, so remember that Nabi, Nabi Isa, his lineage is not the same as, it's not the same lineage as, as Nabi Zakaria. Nabi Zakaria is the, like, an, like, an, like an in law, if you remember. Right, he's an in-law. Can? <laughs> okay, Alhamdulillah. Right, it's in uh, Nabi Imran is in Oman. We went to Oman and we saw we saw Nabi 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 Imran in Oman. Okay, mashallah. Okay, I'll stop there. Uh, is there Afia Mawjuda? I'll just make her the co-host. Is there Afia? Is there Afia?